वेलकम टू द सेशन टू आई एम प्रोफेसर निसर्ग भट्ट फ्रॉम धर्मसी देसाई यूनिवर्सिटी इन दिस सेशन डीसी एनालिसिस ऑफ अ वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बायस कॉमन एमिटर एम्पलीफायर विल बी कैरिड आउट इन द प्रीवियस सेशन प्रोफेसर स्मिथ थिवलपिल हैड कवर्ड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर बायसिंग इन विच द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बेस बायस एंड एमिटर बायस is explained and improvement in ammeter bias that is voltage divided bias is also introduced now in this session for the voltage divided bias common ammeter transistor amplifier circuit dc analysis will be carried out under which our major concern will be dc load line and the location of the q point or question point on that load line here is the voltage divider bias circuit if you want to use it as a ce amplifier then connect source of the ac voltage which you want to amplify between base and ground and connect load between collector and ground where your amplifier signal will be available now it may be possible that your input signal may contain some dc offset due to which biasing of the transistor may get changed another thing is that at the output side amplified ac voltage will ride on a constant dc voltage which is undesirable in case of amplification to solve out this problem capacitors are inserted because as we know that the capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency so it provides too much high resistance to the dc signal hence it blocks the dc signal so cc1 will block the dc from the input signal and cc2 will block the dc from the output signal now one more capacitor cb is connected across re if cb is not present then output ac signal will pass through the emitter resistor and fed back to the input which results in the decrease in the overall output of the circuit on another hand if cb is present then output ac signal will pass through cb which provides a low resistance part to ac signal and it will be directly grounded so ac signal is not fed back to the input and hence we will get increased output so here you can see that with the presence of cb our output will get increase now since this cb helps in bypassing the emitter resistance hence it is called a bypass capacitor and this capacitor also helps to make emitter terminal at ac ground now if we want to carry out analysis of a transistor amplifier circuit then it is mainly divided into two parts that is dc analysis and ac analysis in this session our concern is dc analysis AC analysis will be carried out in the later session by Professor Pinkes Patel. So, in general, for any circuit containing AC and DC sources, both, if we want to carry out DC analysis, then following steps are to be carried out. First of all, reduce all AC voltage sources to zero. So, let us make. this ac voltage source zero next make all the capacitors open circuited because capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency so let us make this all three capacitors open circuited so if we redraw our circuit then it will be reduced to this one then at last find out the dc current and dc voltage is present in the circuit 
Now in this case our major concern is DC current and DC voltage present at the output side that is we are interested in finding out the collector current and collector emitter voltage at the output side and here our goal is to find the relation between them and this relation is known as a DC load line. So let us discuss more about this DC load line. Now to get the relation between IC and VCE that is to get the DC load line first of all apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the output loop then you will get this equation but as we know that the value of base current is in the range of tens of micro ampere so we can say that emitter current will be approximately equal to the collector current so here we can replace IE by IC so our equation reduces to this one now let us make this both IC common then it will reduce to this one now let us divide whole equation by RC plus RE then it will be reduced to this now let us bring all other terms except IC on another side then equation will transform into this one now if we rearrange this equation then it will become this one now if we compare equation number one with the equation of straight line then we can see that the relation between IC and VCE is nothing but a straight line having a slope equal to this much and having a constant of intersection equal to this much so here is the visual presentation that the relation between IC and VCE is nothing but the straight line having a slope equal to this much now since we get this line in DC analysis and the slope of the line depends on the load resistance RC so this line is called a DC load line since we know that only two points are sufficient to draw a straight line so if we want to get a full DC load line then it is better to find out two end point first once we get these end points then it is easy to get the entire DC load line so now let us learn how to get this end point by recalling the equation 1 if you want to find out a point on the VCE axis then put the value of IC equal to 0 into equation 1 then we will get the value of VCE will be equal to VCC the value of collector current is 0 over here so this point is referred as a cutoff point and transistor can be considered as a off on another hand if you want to find out a point on the IC axis then put the value of VCE equal to 0 in equation 1 then the value of IC will be VCC over RC plus RE since this point indicates the maximum possible collector current so it is known as a saturation point and transistor is considered fully on now once we get the two end points then it is easy to get full load line by joining these two points so here is the full load line now this line represents the summary of all possible combinations of the value of VCE and IC but depending on the value of component used in the circuit at a time only one combination of VCE and IC is possible and this particular combination is known as a Q point or quotient point because it remains still once it is set using proper biasing so now let us locate the Q point for the circuit provided over here for this circuit if you want to carry out DC analysis then first of all 
reduce all AC voltage sources to zero and make all the capacitors open circuited. So let us make this AC voltage source to zero and open circuit these capacitors. So our circuit will reduce to this one. Now pause the video here and find out the cutoff point and saturation point for this particular circuit. So the cutoff point will be 10 volt and saturation point will be 2.17 milliampere. Now let us locate the Q point on this load line. So first of all find out the value of VBB that is nothing but the voltage across R2 using this equation. Now once we get VBB then subtract VBE from the VBB where VBE is nothing but base emitter voltage approximately 0.7 volt. Now once we get VE we know the value of RE then using this relation we can easily find the value of IE and as discussed previously IC is approximately equal to IE so that here we can get the value of IC. Now next find out the value of collector voltage using this relation. Now once we know the value of VC and VE then find the difference between them that is VCE. Now here by following this step we will have the value of IC and VCE which are nothing but ICQ and VCEQ. So let us find out the actual value of ICQ and VCEQ for this circuit using actual values of this components. So first of all put the value of R2 and R1 over here and VCC you will get VBB equal to 1.8 volt. Now once we get VBB subtract base emitter voltage from it we will get VE equal to this much. Now once we get VE then it is easy to find out emitter current IE which is nothing but VE by RE then it will be this much. Now this IE is nothing but the value of IC. So IC will be 1.1 milliampere which is nothing but our ICQ. Next find out the value of VC that is collector voltage using this relation then it will be this much. Now once we have the VE, once we have the VC then find out the difference between them then it will be VC minus VE will be VCE and this value of VCE is nothing but the VCEQ. So here we get the ICQ and VCEQ both. So we can say that now we get our Q point. Now to verify your understanding, carry out this quiz. You can submit your answers on email id provided over here. Thank you.